Hello everyone and welcome to Disney Day 7. We have all of our bags packed and we are heading to the front lobby to give them to bag services so we can go to Epcot. Oh, we're struggling. We don't want to leave. We can't leave. So that's where we're headed now and we will see you guys at Epcot. All right, we have made it to the International Gateway here at Epcot. We are heading in, uh-oh, Bryce is fast walking because we have an individual lightning lane for Guardians, which we're super excited about. This might be the last time we ride. We also picked up a virtual queue, but we're group 90. And I don't know if they'll call us before we have to leave Epcot. So we're gonna rush to Guardians to test track and then we're gonna explore the World Showcase. It's gonna be a good day. We made it to Guardians! Woohoo! Bryce, are you excited? Yeah. I'm excited we're ending. This is one of our last rides on this trip. So it's been our favorite ride and it's gonna be one of our last. So here we go, on to Guardians. Guardians time! got off the Guardians of the Galaxy. We got Conga, so I'm pretty sure we've gone to a different song every time we've ridden it. And this is what, our fifth time? <laughs> so we're getting pretty lucky. Uh, I think there's only, everyone wants to rule the world. And Disco Inferno are the only songs we haven't gotten yet. So maybe if we get to get on later, we'll be able to get one of those. But for now, we just need some more adrenaline boost. So we're heading to Test Drive. Alright, we have designed this construct. Where do you even get it? Where's the front? Oh, this must be the front. These are our stats. Um, I don't know how this is efficient whatsoever. How is it not efficient? <laughs> Look at it. Like a carriage. It looks like what? It's a horse drawn carriage. A horse drawn carriage. Yeah, we went for um, classic and timeless. Disney's Disney thing. Yeah. Okay, so we'll see how it holds up. track is done our car did pretty good our car that we made a couple of days ago was still linked under Bryce's magic man so of course he scanned it and tried to make it a competition when we built both of these cars together anyway now that he has um, gotten his competitive edge out we are heading to do the world showcase it is about 10:45 now um, so it should be opening up and we'll explore world showcase and just have a lot of fun you excited yeah, the front basket looks good. oh yeah the front basket does look good Oh, I love being here during a food festival. It makes it way better. First country, if you know, you know, it's Mexico. It is not supposed to be Canada. Um, Mexico is the only way to go, but we're gonna head in. We kind of did this pavilion when we ate at San Angel Inn. I'm gonna link the video up above, but we're gonna go do this. The Grand Fiesta Boat Tour. Look, which one are you? I am the chicken. The chicken. Yeah, you are chicken. Uh, You're Donald? I'm Donald. Uh-oh, you just want to be the OG. You know it's a busy day when the line for Grand Fiesta Tour is 30 minutes and the line for the Margarita Place is just as long. So we are gonna head out. Since we did get to experience the Mexico Pavilion for dinner, we're heading next to Norway, where I think this one might try to pick him up a pastry if he sees anything he wants. So, Norway time. We have made it to Norway. The Vikings. Right Vikings. here. I'm cool. And right here is Kringala. Kring Kringla. Kringala. That is where the pastries are. And that's a really good restaurant too. It just reopened Akashers. Oh, the smell. Oh, always smells good in here. So Bryce, what did you get? Alefsa. Alefsa. And he took a bite of it. It's good. It's like a potato something with cinnamon and sugar. Cinnamon and sugar, butter. It's good? Uh, yeah, let me try. It's cold. I would describe it as a tortilla with cinnamon and butter. <laughs> but it's not bad, it's good. We made it through China and the refreshment outpost, and now we are in Germany with the caramel couche. <laughs> so we're gonna head in here and just see what they have and just take in the smells of the caramel because it smells incredible. <laughs> Bryce just said, oh my goodness, look at all this caramel popcorn over here. <laughs> we have landed on the caramel chocolate cookie and the cookie sandwich back there. So we're gonna get those, try them out. It smells incredible in here. All right, so we got a good spot right in the middle of Germany with the loud music. Bryce has got his caramel chocolate cookie. 
that he's about to pull out. Oh my gosh, this, oh, that looks good. Let's try it. Yeah, good. So we're gonna take it to this and I'm gonna take it to my cookie sandwich here, which is, oh, that looks so good. good. This chocolate caramel cookie sandwich. Six out of five, like so good. Like over the scale, so good. Bryce is putting his cookie away because he's like, I just want to try this, I just want to eat this. It is so good. Oh my gosh, we just finished our caramel cookie sandwich. So good. And now we popped into the shops in Germany just to look around. I always think these are so cool, like the little beer steins, like those are so cool. Like they has got so much detail and stuff. And there's smaller ones. Oh, look at the horn, <laughs> that one's fun. But this is also the home to the Christmas shop, which is right over here next door. So we'll have to go hit that up too. All right, we're here at America. If you haven't seen the vlog where, I, I don't know if I put it in the vlog actually, but last trip we came with the family, Madison did the attraction inside of America, the American Adventure, I believe it's called. She sobbed the whole time. She was just feeling so much love for our country. So if I didn't put it in the vlog, I'm gonna put the picture I have of her right here because it was the funniest thing ever. <laughs> anyway, it smells good. It smells like turkey legs and funnel cakes. And yeah, I'm glad that's what we're known for is turkey legs and funnel cakes. <laughs> All right, so it's a bit later. We made our way to Connections Cafe for lunch. It looks so good. I got the chicken sandwich. Bryce got the pepperoni pizza. Those are huge slices of pizza. We got an extra side of fries. We're gonna dig in and we'll let you guys know how it is after, but it looks incredible. I would describe my chicken sandwich as a wannabe Chick-fil-A sandwich. It tastes like someone tried to make a Chick-fil-A sandwich at home. It doesn't mean it's bad, it's good. It's just, it's a lot lighter. Like it's not as greasy, which I think is good. Rice's pizza on the other hand, very greasy, but very good. So fries are good, vibes are good. We're just gonna eat. All right, Connections Cafe out of five. Good three. Three, I think a solid three. I think like that's to be expected for these quick services. Nothing's like blowing me away. But we're gonna get a picture in front of Spaceship Earth because she looks mighty beautiful today. And then we're gonna do some shopping for our families because for some reason we have waited until the last possible second to do that. So. Yeah, overall, it's a pretty good day in Epcot, but um, reminder to myself as I'm editing this video and to all of you, do not come to Epcot on a Saturday during food and wine. It is crowded and I have never seen so many matching shirts in my life. All right, we're headed into Creation Shop now. We'll have a look around. If we see anything interesting, we will show you, but this is the Creation Shop here. Creation's Cafe, Creation's Shop, everything's Creation's, so. It's bright and beautiful, and there's a lot of space to move around in here. So Bryce wants to get the Epcot cookie jar. I don't know if that's actually what it's for, but it's $60, and I don't know how you would get this home. <laughs> what would you put in it? The cookie, caramel cookie, chocolate? Any kind of cookie. <laughs> Any kind of cookie. <laughs> I think we found the mug. The Mickey waffles, it's $20. It comes with the stirring spoon, which I mean is important. I don't know what I would use it for. <laughs> Looks good. Oh, it's gonna make me hungry every time I use it. <laughs> These little Baby Yoda Grogu plushes are so cute. <laughs> but there's a huge Star Wars collection over here. Ooh, this, uh, ooh, a dog bed. That's actually a really cute <laughs> dog bed. How much is it? It is $60. That's a VIP dog bed. We did some shopping. I got some goodies that I will show you guys at some point, maybe in a haul. But we headed into Club Pool, which is right next to the Creation Shop, for Bryce's first experience. So basically, at Club Pool, you just come in and you get little samples of little Cokes, drinks from around the world. So we're gonna hop in and see how it goes. So we're trying them now. Bryce just tried Madagascar. You like it? Okay, so Beverly is the best one. So we'll try Beverly. It's the Italy one. Okay. So Beverly time is good. Watermelon? Yeah. That's not the best one. That's not the best one. That's not good. <laughs> you did pretty good though. <laughs> I'm gonna try watermelon. 
Uh, I need something else. Give me some more Madagascar. You get, oh, you want more Madagascar? He likes the Madagascar. I said that out of my mouth. What about, I'm gonna try Moldovia. It's raspberry. <laughs> That one might be the worst one. <laughs> Try it. Right, it's raspberry. <laughs> Ugh. Where's the Diet Coke? Where's Diet Coke? <laughs> that must be what. So it is 152. Our boarding group is 90, and they are on 89 right now. So we're gonna wait it out. Even though I wanted to be back at the hotel by two, we're just gonna risk it. So. <laughs> We're gonna see how it goes. Um, hopefully we get back in enough time to make it for our Bears Connect, but we wanted to do Guardians one last time. We made it in. It is exactly 1.56 when Group 90 was called on a Saturday. Just to fill you guys in, if you're wondering about around what time. Just kind of depends on how fast the line's moving, but for now, Wonders of Zenda. All right, so it is 1.56 and our boarding group got called for Guardians, but we went inside and the line is just gonna be too long. So just so you know, just because you have a boarding group doesn't mean you're skipping a line. It looks to be about a 30 minute line because we waited in it before that was way less and it was 20. So we just don't have the time to do that, unfortunately. So for now, we're gonna head back to the Skyliner and go back to the room, the resort. Not the room, our room's gone. But the resort to get ready for the Mirrors Connect. You gonna miss that cut? Okay, not on the weekend, but you'll just... Not on Saturday, but the, the snacks and... <laughs> the the, the snacks. A moment for the snacks and guardians. Maybe I'll put a little montage of our guardians and snacks with some nice sad music behind it. Let's cut through this little shop, the port of entry, to get some air and to beat the crowds. Craziness. So, since we missed out on Guardians, we're doing a little pick me up. We're at uh, Artisan de Glossier for our pressed brioche ice cream. We might not make our mares connect for this, but it's gonna be worth it. I can feel it, I can smell it. Um, it was only $10.12, so Bryce is gonna get vanilla with chocolate drizzle on it. So, we'll see how it is. Dude, it's a little miffy. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, I can't even get your head in it. This is so cool. Thank you. They put it in and then they just, boom, whoa. We need one of these at home. <laughs> We've made it to the Skyliner line. He's gonna try a bite. Was it worth it? Is it worth missing our flight? <laughs> I wanna try it. Tastes like an ice cream sandwich, literally. Very good. Hello, Editing McKenzie here. Just realizing that we never finished this vlog. Um, if you're wondering, yes, we did make it to our Mirrors Connect. It was very close. However, what saved us is that they packed the Mirrors Connect. Literally every seat was full. So it took about 30 minutes for everyone to get on and for our driver to load the luggage on. So that's how we made it. And the brioche ice cream fried sandwich was worth missing our flight, let me tell you. Anyway, that's gonna round out this trip. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me take my fiance Bryce on his first trip to Disney World. Um, he loved it just as much as I do and so we will be going back real soon. Be sure to stay tuned for our next video because we have a really, really big announcement that I think you guys are going to be excited about. So thank you for coming with us on this journey, this series, and we will see you real soon. Bye.